Hey everybody, welcome to That's Good Sports. I'm Brandon Perna, your miserable host for this pile of garbage I call a sports show. Today I'm reviewing the Colts and Texans game, but I want to start by asking this profound question. Do you ever wonder why Brian Cushing seems so dumb? 100% meat in that head. That's good sports. Thursday night made me fall in love with Matt Hasselback all over again. And don't ask why we fell out of love. That's why I'm giving him the Big Dick Player Award so you make sure, so make sure you tweet him this video, at Hasselback, so he knows he won the most prestigious award in all of sports. Matt was severely ill all week long with a bacterial infection, received IV fluid every day that week, and twice on game day, so basically he didn't die. He also spent more time on the toilet than Chris Christie, fat joke, all so he could throw two touchdowns for 213 yards, zero picks, and accumulate a 107.4 QB rating and give the Colts a dominant lead in the AFC landfill with a 3-2 record. If that doesn't deserve the Big Dick Player Award, then, well, I don't know why the hell I invented it. The Texans looked very good on their opening drive. Arian Foster was running strong and catching passes out of the backfield. But it all came to a screeching halt when Foster let this pass bounce off of his man paws and fly right into safety Mike Adams' hands for an interception and long return. The Colts, aka the Senior Citizen Club, with Frank Gore, 32, Andre Johnson, 34, Matt Hasselback, 40, and Adam Vinatieri, Wizards age, also looked good on their opening drive. Gore was running like a 23-year-old back, gashing what is supposed to be a good Texans front seven. There were a ton of penalties in this game, but after the refs picked up a defensive holding call, all hell broke loose. Chuck Pagano and the refs were having a religious dispute of some sort. Jesus, ref. I'm above Jesus, Pagano. How high above? The highest. You're not supposed to be God. And cut your goddamn hair, Fleener. And Matt Hasselback was thinking about the one thing every man thinks about all day long. Boobs! Thankfully, Adam Vinatieri shut them all up with this 48-yard field goal to give the Colts a 3-0 lead. Andre Johnson woke from his season-long slumber just in time to stick it to his old team, which could desperately use him in the passing game as he torched the Texans down the right sideline, setting up the Colts with the first and goal. Johnson twists the knife in just a little deeper as he snagged this perfect Hasselback throw for the touchdown, giving the Colts a 10-0 lead. But here's where things get very interesting. Ryan Mallett was hit by the Colts' CO Moore proving even mallets have to get hammered every now and then. Mallet needed to come out of the game for what everyone assumed would be a play or two to shake off that hit. But Brian Hoyer seized his opportunity, firing perfect balls down the field, and Bill O'Brien, being the indecisive coach he is, kept Brian Mallet out of the game. Mallet did his best to not cry on the sideline, and Brian Hoyer did something you rarely see in an NFL game. He completes a fucking Hail Mary right before the half ends to Jaylene Strong, who, by the way, caught his first NFL pass on that play. The Texans entered halftime with momentum, trailing 13 to 10. During halftime, I learned that Arian Foster really hates Gatorade. Okay, Arian, after evaluating you, all you need to do to get back in the game is drink some Gatorade. Go ahead, Arian, just have a little sip. It's right behind you, Arian, it's the good Gatorade. It's flavor red. <laughs> Fuck your Gatorade! Uh, maybe part of Houston's problem is that they're always throwing shit on their sideline. If Matt Hasselback wasn't going to let some rare bacterial infection distract him, he certainly wasn't going to be threatened by that miraculous play before half. He marched the Colts right down the field and let Frank Gore finish the drive with a two-yard touchdown run right up the gut or the same place Hasselback had been shitting from all week. Houston countered with a 90-yard drive of their own, capped by another Jaylene Strong wide-open touchdown catch to keep the game close at 20-17. to 17. 
Coach Pagano wasn't worried as he and Greg Minuski talked chin hair like my goatee coach. Quit biting my style, Minuski, you fucking biter. Hasselbeck then orchestrated a nine minute long drive that consisted of roughly 80 penalties committed by the Texans, during which Frank Gore knocked out this man beast run. I mean, this is the perfect run. Every NFL running back should watch this. Great vision as Gore slips through a tiny hole, breaks a tackle, and then he lowers his shoulder to finish the run and get the first down. Jesus Christ, that makes me wish I was strong. With the fresh set of downs, Andre Johnson finished the long drive, scoring his second touchdown on the evening giving the Colts a 27-17 lead. Johnson's touchdown made Andrew Luck very giddy on the sideline. With this walkie-talkie dick bounce dance, he learned in the AV club. Not sure why he keeps the walkie-talkie in front of his genitals, unless, of course, he has a talking penis. Speaking of mouths and penises, Mallet spent the third quarter chewing on Bill O'Brien's semen. Mmm, tastes good. The sad thing is Mallet thought that by doing that, he would get to go back in the game. <laughs> Boy, O'Brien really punked him. The Texans finish the game going down in flames. DeAndre Hopkins makes a great play and then instantly negates it by throwing the ball at the defender. Brian Hoyer apparently knows nothing about Hail Marys because he throws another one with two minutes left in the game, which is obviously picked off. Come on, Hoyer. You, you, you gotta know that you only get one Hail Mary per season and you never, ever get two in the same game. Go back to football school, you idiot. The Colts finished the game with a 27 to 20 victory after T.Y. Hilton and Hasselback closed this fucker out with a long completion on a third and who cares situation. Hilton finishes the catch by kindly waving to all of his friends in Houston. Bye guys, bye, bye everyone. As the game concluded, Brian Hoyer and his coach exchanged some tips about maintaining a bald football head. Tough loss up, but uh, Brian, what kind of shaving cream do you use on that head of yours? I personally like Barbasol and uh, Dollar Shave Club razors. That's the real secret, Brian. That's the secret. And the Texans go home feeling like shit yet again. Thanks for watching another episode of That's Good Sports. Make sure you subscribe here to my YouTube channel and give me a follow on Twitter at Brandon Perna. I've got all of the football stuff you, you need and share this video. You gotta share this video on Facebook and Twitter or else I'm going to give up because I keep failing. Bye bye See you guys later. Have fun playing in your warm, welcoming home.